welcome to the program. I'm Joseph Pinto, and on this edition of the program, we investigate the growing problem with homeless students on the campus of Cal State Los Angeles. When a student goes to college, the thoughts that go through one's head are, am I going to do well in my classes? Am I going to make friends? Is my team going to win? Is the person I'm with going to be the one? Not, am I going to be homeless? A recent study examining the homeless situation on all 23 campuses in the California State University system states that 41.6% are food insecure, while 10.9% are home insecure. I think they're on the low side. I think um, food insecurity might be close, but homelessness is probably grossly underestimated. Um, a lot of students may not consider themselves homeless because they're sleeping on someone's couch or they're um, going from friend to friend. And I think people often think of homeless as being on the street. Numbers being uncertain, we need to take the word from the mouth of a homeless student. It was just dealing with my homelessness. This is Betty Green. Betty, who graduated in spring of 2018, was homeless and living out of her car. You know, living in your car is not, it's not easy, but you just have to think of the worst scenarios. I remember the first night I did sleep in my car last semester, I did cry, but it was crazy because I was parked up at a car, a park that I seen a woman sleeping, um, like on, I think a slide or one of those crawlings. And that's when I just dried my eyes up and just knew that I was gonna be okay. Experts tell us that homeless students prefer that no one knows their situation. Well, for mine was, no one knew my situation, no one at all knew. And I had problems where I would come to class late or I'd even come to class, I didn't take a shower yet. For those who knew Betty, their reaction was one of disbelief. I never expected her to be homeless. She seemed like she was living the LA life, especially when she told me she had, she, uh, she was coming from San Francisco and because her dream was to become a host, a radio host, and live, live the, her dream here in L.A. Because apparently for her, this is where, if you want to be, work on TV, this is where you make your dream reality. When I learned about her, I was just, I was like at a loss for words. I had no idea. And it made me really sad as well, just because I kind of wish that I could have been there for her in some sense. Um, just because I, I was just in shock. For those who are home insecure, there are a number of programs to help those in need, like emergency housing and emergency grants, which requires an application process. The application process is available on our DDF students website, and um, the director of student support, who also works with the care team, um, reviews each of the applications and then determines the, um, the placements or their needs, and then we'll contact the students um, who have applied for both housing and for emergency grants. For students who are food insecure, there are a number of programs provided by the college, like the food pantry. And if you're starving, how's that affecting your academic success, um, which it's inhibiting academic success. And so changing the language about how we talk about um, access to nutritionally um, valued food um, is super important. So by providing these resources and looking at what food insecurity looks like and the different levels of food insecurity and what homelessness looks like and, and, and housing instability, because at one point we wouldn't have looked at homelessness as couch surfing necessarily, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or crashing in your friend's dorm. Um, but changing the narrative um, for those situations is super important. For students who are unaware of the programs, the college uses tools like social media to reach out to those students who are in need. So we do that through a variety of ways. Um, I think our main method of communication and advertising is through faculty and staff who interact with students so that if they know what services are available, they can share that information with their students in whatever field, be it the classroom or the services they provide. Um, we also have it on all of our websites. Um, and then for the food pantry, I know that we've advertised through the University Student Union calendar, through the event calendars online. So um, we find a variety of ways um, from traditional marketing to social media. We also have social media channels on Instagram and Facebook for the food pantry and the CalFresh Outreach Office. 
For those students who wish not to partake in the services provided by the college, both the LA Mission and the Union Rescue Mission are in close proximity to the campus. Services are also available through the Los Angeles Homeless Service Authority, if so desired. Um, what's been super helpful is the Los, our, our partnership with LASA, the Los Angeles Housing Services Authority, um, because we're able to refer to them to the coordinated entry system, and they have navigators that are assigned to the student who will help them find a more permanent solution. Um, and that can take some more time. That's not an overnight process. Two professors further explain the issue. So this issue of housing and food insecurity is not just a localized community Cal State LA issue, it's a larger societal issue. So much of the larger society has criminalized poverty and homelessness and hunger as though it were some crime. It's not a crime. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It is something that should invoke our compassion and our humanity. But in this day and age and under the current administration and much of what is going on politically, it, people prefer to hide it. I don't think it, I mean, it's, a, we are trying to fight the stigma of homelessness and, and food insecurity and programs like what we have on campus as our, our attempts at doing that. And I think as a society, we've been stigmatized with those topics have been stigmatized. Um, but the study like you mentioned and the research that shows that students are facing these issues, um, we are a caring community and we really want to address and, and, and support students who might find themselves in those issues. So we don't really look at it from a, a taboo issue. We're looking at it as a way to destigmatize that topic and destigmatize those two issues. Well, I mean, they're necessities, you know, without a home, Without food, you're not getting your those things that you need, those necessities to live life, to survive. So maybe that's why people do look down at them. Um, I mean, you saying that it's taboo, I never told anyone. You're actually the first person I ever told that I've been homeless these two past semesters. From the campus at Cal State Los Angeles, this is Joseph Pino reporting for the program. There's a happy ending to this story. Betty Green is currently living in the Bay Area working for iHeartMedia covering traffic and weather. We here at the program wish her all the best. I'm Joseph Pinto and thank you for watching the program.